<clears throat> Hello. This is me with another touch designer tutorial and as you might already have seen on my Instagram, I asked which one should be my next tutorial and since I got a 50-50 result, I decided to do both. And since um, this kind of noisy grid effect uh, is actually really kind of simple and quick and easy, I decided to do this one first. And yeah, uh, like I said, it's it's pretty easy. It's basically just some transforms of a checkerboard and some blur and a displacement, of course. Uh, but um, still, I really like this effect. And when I came up with this, I really fell in love with the look of it. And... I think it's very powerful for different kind of images you want to displace or some patterns or some simple smooth animations. So let's have a look at it and let's just start this from scratch. So uh, yeah, I already collapsed it and as you might already know we always start with our constant chop to set ooh, <laughs> our resolution and um, yeah, uh, like I said, um, this effect ba is based on a checkerboard, so we are going to build a checkerboard. <laughs> I just love the, the word checkerboard and so I will say it a thousand times, so let's build our own adaptable checkerboard. <laughs> so um, to get started just use a rectangle and use our resolution and then we need to move it to the top left and I already figured out we need to move it on the x by minus 0.25 and on the y to 0.2 five and then let's copy it make it black or whatever color you like and then change the center to 0.25 here on the x and then let's combine those two together by using a over you could also do it with a uh, composite but let's go with the over for now and then let's bring in a flip so we don't have to do four rectangles. So just flip it on the X and on the Y. And then, oops, let's bring in another over. And voila, we have our checkerboard, which is a really quick thing to do. So um, in case you want to have some more tiles, um, let's bring in a transform scale it down to something like 0.5 maybe and change the tile mode to repeat. I think you can already go... Oh, no, no, keep it on repeat. <laughs> and yeah, um, we might not use this... Um, actually, yes, we will use it. And Another thing we are going to do is um, bring in a noise, which will be our uh, our, our uh, displaced image. So you can bring in a image or a ramp or whatever you like. I'm going with the um, noise. I will use my resolution on it, and I will keep the look of the noise like this for now and um, yeah if in case you want to make some changes to the noise just do it and another thing change the 
pixel format to 32-bit float in order to have as much detail as possible. And in case you don't use a good PC or Mac, you might have some issues with your frame rate when you change the pixel format to 32-bit float. So in case you your frame rate frame rate uh, is slowing down, just keep it at uh, eight bit or sixteen bit float. Uh, just a quick tip. Um, okay, so how do we process? Um, let's copy this noise for now and plug uh, in our checkerboard here. And I don't know, just reset the parameters to this and I don't know, I think, yeah, like this and then plug it in here. I will explain why I did this later when we have inserted our displacement. So let's bring it in this place, connect this to a null so we can actually see what's going on in the background and then um, let's bring in our displacement and right now this is ugly but we are going to change that and the first thing we are going to do is change something within the scale so we want it to be a little bit more irregular than this grid so let's uh, let's change the scale so at the y axis we are going to keep it at one and on the x we are going to scale it down to something really small small just like this i think yeah this is cool and then let's add another transform because we want this pattern we have here, this line pattern, um, to be even more small and tired. So in this case we are going to use a uniform scale again, maybe, maybe like this. And then set it to mirror, and yeah, that's cool. And uh, um, now the most powerful thing is happening, which is basically everything for this kind of effect. So we will bring in a blur, which is totally boring, basically, but in this case it's really special. So let's bring it in and voila, we can already see this is getting even more interesting now. So let's really blur it. Just like, I don't know, maybe like this. And let's play around with the scale even more. So maybe like this. And let's scale this one down to maybe to, I don't know. I think this one is cool. And now we have some too heavy displacement here. But you can already see the effect we are going for is happening. And now we just want to do some changes. So the reason why I brought in this, this noise is because it gives us more options than just um, using the checkerboard by itself because we can change the hue and the brightness and everything more easily with using that noise than with the basic checkerboard. So yeah, you can just once again play around within that, um, that noise until you get something you like. So um, maybe let's have some 
no, no, let's keep it like that and maybe have some changes to the displacement here again maybe like I kind of like this and maybe change this to mirror or to repeat no to mirror and um, we want it to be moving so we are going to animate on this axis and of course we're going to use the apps time dot seconds. Oops. Oops, that's a little bit too fast, so we're going to divide it by a uh, hundred <laughs> oh my god. Why is this so ugly? Yeah. <laughs> no no I'm good. Maybe yeah. That's good. That's really nice and smooth. And I still don't like this this address here and maybe I will keep it at hold. Yeah. Okay, um, now we basically have our effect which is really fast and in case you want some color bring in or bring out the monochrome or Another thing um, you could do if, if you want to have more control than you have with the noise. I actually uh, <laughs> I actually really like it, like the color combinations the noise gives me. But in case I want to have some more controls, like in the beginning, I showed the red and blue one. I just did that by adding a ramp. Um, just make sure you use the same resolution and then I make this um, reddish and this one bluish <laughs> and then I added a lookup and uh, oops, I just plugged that in and yeah that's our color and um, another thing I added, because I really like this kind of noisy and kind of analog effect this animation has to me. I don't know if you also feel like this. And I wanted to increase this effect it gives me. So I just decided to add some grain. And this is done really easily by adding another noise and changing the noise type to random which gives me this kind of crane so make sure to use your resolution <laughs> and um, in order to not have it black and white I plugged in my look up in here, yeah, and then I added another composite and just plugged those two together and now you can already see we have some kind of crane but it's kind of ugly so I decreased the amplitude in order to have some more control you can also use the offset for some different looks whatever you like and um, yeah that's that's basically the effect <laughs> um, it's cool <laughs> you um, might want to use it on some stuff. Let's let's have a look how this looks. Well, <laughs> maybe not the coolest thing we did, but yeah, uh, let's go back to the noise. And yeah, I hope you you liked that tutorial and that kind of simple effect. And I hope it inspires you to do 
some stuff and it's totally editable. So if you want it to look a little bit different, you can just play with the scale or the blur or the movement or maybe even some rotations. Ooh, I really like this one. <laughs> yeah, um, whatever you like. Um, I hope you like this and I hope you're feeling okay. I hope you're staying healthy and responsible to you during these times and I hope you're doing best whatever's best for you. So um, stay kind, stay creative and have fun. <laughs>